Well, in a recent survey, Babbage commissioned to find out which famous Kiwis out of a list of 20 from the past 10 decades New Zealanders would most like to share a bottle of wine with. Some very interesting results came out, and here to spill the beans and the red is winemaker David Babbage. Welcome, David. Thank you. So, tell me why you decided to do this survey. Well, it's my family's 100th year of making wine in New Zealand, and we've done a lot of uh, functions around the world, a lot of events, tastings and dinners to acknowledge that time. But we thought we'd do something a bit lighter, so uh, we engaged a research company and said, well, in, in New Zealand, who would you like to have a wine with? And uh, so it's, it's quite interesting. No, well, it is very interesting because I've seen a sneak peek of the list, but take us yes. through it. Who was on that list? Do you know? Can you remember well, the 20? It was a cross section through entertainers, uh, some politicians, sports people, so just household names that people would recognise. Um, Over 100 years? Yes. Yep. We're okay. spanning 100 years, which are aligned with the centenary part of it. So we had uh, Billy T. James, Rachel Hunter, Sir uh, Michael. Uh, so, sorry, so Peter Blake, uh, Barry Crump, um, just real cross section, Colin Meads. Um, so you came up with these names, or you just sort of had a big? Yeah, well, we had a, a uh, we had a collection of names, and then we had to sort it down to twenty, so it wasn't too too long. <gasps> that would be so hard. There was to a do. bit of process going yeah. on, yeah. and uh, who was in, who was out. Uh, but we really did. We didn't want to just make it people uh, from today, currently yeah. in the news, that actually span. Uh, ten decades. Yeah, or reality TV show stars and things yes. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. battle hosts <laughs> yeah. or, or former hosts. Yes, or former yeah. oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they had, to, they had to have some appeal to have a glass of wine. Okay, well, let's see who, yeah. who came out on top. So let's take a look at who we would prefer to have a wine with. Yeah, number one on the list was uh, Peter Jackson. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah. maker. You know, yeah. uh, uh, interesting guy doing a you know uh, in the entertainment field. Um, you know, really moving and shaking things. Mm. So people picked him up at the okay. top. Uh, interesting in the top five, uh, both uh, John Key and Helen Clark. Uh, obviously, uh, both of them in the news a lot lately, so they are current. Just uh, sit down and have a wine with? I yes. think they'd be very interesting people. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, wine's like honesty so. juice, isn't yes. it? So. Oh, yeah, you don't, don't know what's going to come out. <laughs> That's right. You know, third glass. You get some good stories <laughs> yeah. from there. I reckon, I reckon Helen would have some great stories from oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Especially and, uh, with international work. Mm. <laughs> and, and who else made that list in the top five? Um, it was good to see Billy T. James on the list. You know, right. Billy T's, uh, 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 he hasn't been in the news, uh, on TV for quite some time, mm. but uh, he's still in people's consciousness. Mm. He's a funny guy, yeah. one of our funniest ever guys. So it's great to see him there. Yeah. Um, also, Kate Shepherd, she would be the oh, wow. person from the furthest in history of the list. Uh, making a big difference uh, 100 years very ago. Very interesting. Yeah, well, things have escalated here. It's Friday. <laughs> We've got David Babbage with us, who not only knows who we want to have a wine with, but he also knows how to make a good wine. He's also going to tell us who we don't want to have a drink with based on the survey. But before we find out, David, what have we got in front of us? We're going to do some wine tasting, aren't uh, we? <laughs> well, we have the Babbage Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. so uh, fresh and fruity. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our Iron Gate Chardonnay. Yep. Uh, very good food wine. We have our top wine, Patriarch, which is named after my grandfather, oh, nice. and uh, that's a Bordeaux blend, okay. a Cabernet Melbourne. Because you're a third, third generation, aren't you? Yes. Third generation winemaker. Let's start with this one, shall we? Is that the right mm. way to do it? Yes, okay. it is. Have a nice feel. So who's on the bottom of the list of the winemakers, of the um, of the people that we don't want to have a wine with? Well, unsurprisingly, uh, John Key and Helen Clark, as politicians, are at the top and the bottom list. Oh. Right. Yeah, sorry, that, that's just beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like passion fruit, melon, yes. mango. Mm. Oh, I can, yeah, really, I can actually really, really, really taste that passion fruit. Mm. Quite mm. fresh too, isn't it? Yeah. Really when you nice. leave um, Sauvignon on the vine a bit longer, it develops this tropical character. That's we, we very love tropical. That. I love that too. Okay. Let's move to this one. This is, I think, um, our Jazz's favourite wine, our producer's favourite wine. Yep. Yeah. Very, uh, very sophisticated Chardonnay. Very good food wine. Uh, Iron Gate Chardonnay. That's obviously why she likes it. Very sophisticated. Here you go. Mm. <laughs> oh yes. No, that's good. Yeah. So this has got sort of lemon, lime, uh, um, peach, stone fruit characters and supported by some toasty oak. Mm. That's probably the nicest Chardonnay, isn't it? Mm. Nicest Chardonnay I've ever tasted, actually. Mm. Mm. Nice. A drink to that. Yeah, cheers. I like that. I like that, <laughs> but I like this one better. That's definitely my jam. Yes. Um, and now mm. let's try this one. So Patriarch is very full-bodied. Mm. This is 2013 like? vintage, which for Hawke's Bay is vintage of the century. Mm. Right. It's fantastic vintage. Okay. 
And I, I guess over 100 years of winemaking, you've probably seen a lot of changes, David. What do you think's been the biggest change? <laughs> he hasn't been around for the 100 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's aged well. Well, the wine well, is very but, medicinal. You know. so <laughs> yeah, it right, it yeah. does, does, does give you longevity. Yeah. Um, I think uh, before all of our time, there was, a, it was quite a big change. The first 50 years was more around fortified, so port and cherry. Mm. Nowadays, mm. around... Uh, highly exported, very high quality table wines, right. such, such as these. Yum. That's also good. I like that one very much. It's quite, it is very full bodied. I'm only saying that because you did, but it does. <laughs> I must admit though, I am definitely, this one is the one I'm going towards. Yes, this, this is fantastic summer drinking. Mm. Okay, and before we get too carried away, um, we mentioned a couple of names that were on the bottom of the list yeah. of people we did not want to have a wine with. John Key, Helen Clark. Yes. Uh, who else is in that? Well, uh, surprisingly, there was entertainers down there. Oh, so okay. we, we had Dame <laughs> Kerry. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yep. she's getting a bit of bad press recently. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Who would think? And uh, Barry Crump. Oh, and, wow. And uh, I thought, wow, that's really surprising. I mean, um, I, I would like to have a drink with us. Interesting story about a couple of them anyway. <laughs> yes. um, I've yeah. just got one final question to ask you. Could I stick this in the freezer and make some sort of froze out, like some sort of, you know, frozen drink with it? Uh, Yes, when you do that, let me know how that works out. Okay. Uh, there might, there might okay. be something in it. Right, just check in. <laughs> nice work, well, cheers, and congratulations on 100 yeah. years, Babbage Wines. Cheers. That's Thanks, awesome, man. thank you. So much, David, been educational, and it's been fun. Nothing quite like a Friday morning drink, isn't there? <laughs>